Hey, hi everybody. Okay, I think we're going. Yep. Okay, we're up and running and all of that. And let me put on my earphones so that we can uh, get this whole thing started. All right. Okay. This we decided we'd do one of these pop-up shows on a Monday. We were this our week off at Gabnet, but I like it that way. Oh, look at all the people are ready to go here. Hold on a second. Here we go. Bump ba dum boom. Let me make sure we're also going out over. Uh, uh, over uh, to Facebook, so we know that we're doing okay. There we are. Yes, we're live. And there we are. Ah, yeah. Okay. We're. Hey, everybody. How are you? Hi. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, we got uh, we got uh, uh, Mandy. Hello, Mandy. Hello. What are you working this week? Yes. Why? What? <laughs> they're, they're slave drivers. Boy, they don't th give you the week. This is usually this is kind of a non-week, you know. I wish. Yeah. It's not not for accounting world. And Mike yeah. Chisholm's up there in Canada, and Rick Checkman is over there in Queens. Hello, Rick. You look. Yeah, hello, Ben. Are you tired today? What is it? Are you a little. No. You, yeah. Just 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 check. Okay. This is the most. This I I thought about this the other day. This is the only way I've seen you in a year, Shecky. Yeah, such is life. It, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, it's been about a year, hasn't it? Yeah, we knew how to play golf. We could have gone golfing with Trump. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Mandy, oh, it won't turn you around. Oh, now she's off there. She, oh, there yeah, she is. There she know. is. Hello, hello, Charlie Wallace. So out there in hey, Texas, Alex. how are you? In I'm a pretty moment, good. We'll, Beautiful day. In a moment, we'll have him play Dr. Doom. But right now, Andrew Deutsch, <laughs> hello to you. Steve Bender, Len LaFrisco. Hello, Len. Uh, and of course, uh, there's Mandy, uh, who comes and joins us whenever she can. Uh, usually she's at work. Uh, always at work. <laughs> or, always. <laughs> and last Monday I was going to get on, but it was I was swamped. I could, just couldn't do it. You couldn't see, today get... there's not many people here. So. There aren't many people there. Right. You know, I, I and, and uh, there, of course, is uh, the old lady I'm married to. One and, only. <laughs> One and only. I can't get to see everybody. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you go up to gallery. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, hello everyone. Yeah. I was just telling Shecky, this is the only way I've seen Shecky in a year. We almost saw him on uh, what Thanksgiving, <laughs> but then you got a fever, and you didn't want to take the chance, and we appreciated that. But yeah. uh, and I didn't want to drive, especially since you we're know? seniors. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, ju I just got a thing today from uh, from uh, uh, Mount Sinai. Uh, saying that they're giving the they're giving the vaccinations out to their workers and so on, and uh, that uh, we'll be coming up soon. And when we're when it's available and we're on the available to do it to make a, they said make a reservation. I guess you'll make a reservation of it, which we will, and be oh, yeah. there for the first hour. How many here are going to get the vaccination as soon as it's available? Yeah, right. Not you, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Mike? Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to sit the first couple plays out and see how people respond to it. I've taken my vitamin D and my zinc quite a bit. I'm just going to see how things roll. And well, uh, yeah. well, the vitamin C and the zinc ain't going to help you. The vitamin D. Vitamin D isn't going to help yeah. you either. Zinc is very good for healing. Yeah, it's good for healing. You know, yeah. it's good for colds. Yeah. But it uh, this is a different animal altogether. But, it, it, but it your helps. question was right away. I'm not saying I'm not going to take it. I'm just saying right away. I'm going to set the first. But your age group, it won't be right away. Yeah, by the time it gets to you, you'll know. By the time it gets to you, we're all going to be yeah. dead from taking the right. shot. Alex and I are in the next group. We're in the next group. Uh, Shucky, you're going to be. You're going to do it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And if I was orthodox, I probably have it already. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You'd either you have read that the, story, didn't you? You either have the virus or the uh, the shot. No, you read that story, didn't you? No, no. Well, tell us. There was What's a couple story? of clinics in Williamsburg and the other Orthodox conclaves that illegally got a hold of 
coronavirus vaccine. Oh, they were the ones. Wow. Oh, they were How the many ones. Did they get? I, I heard about it today on uh, on uh, uh, the Cuomo show. And he oh, was, really? they, were, they were talking about this item in, I think it was uh, either the New York, uh, was it the New It was in the news, it was in the post, it was in all the papers. That, that this one uh, medical organization illegally got yeah. the corona vaccinations. I didn't realize it was the Hasidim that got them. They're the worst, the worst. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. But the government confiscated their back what they good, had good, already injected good, good, good. but there was a good question so now how do you get one 28 days I'd later like to get the second they shot don't have it anymore. well they have to get in line <laughs> yeah well well they, they they asked the governor that they said if there were some people who got it already and they need a second shot are they going to be able to get it and he said if they got it illegally and knew they got it illegally no <laughs> but if they got it because they were told that this was official and it was okay then they should be able to get it. No, no one oh, in that group would knew they, that what it would was their okay. Be? Yeah, no one oh, in that group knew it was okay. It was, that was not okay. They all knew that. Yeah. Well, anyway, you don't have this problem down where you are in Atlanta, Mandy, do you? No, no. Huh? He's on mute. Uh, I'm muted because I was just clicking away typing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, I haven't. Um, I think my mom, who was lives in a retirement community and she's 80. Yeah. She said she heard through the grapevine, the gossip women in her neighborhood said that they were getting it in March. They were well, scheduled for March. Oh, in that age group, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, but they, they're not they're really in a nursing home. They're, they're, they're not in a nursing home. If they were in a no. nursing home, they'd be getting she'd it be right. Getting More it like a retirement, home. you know, just. Yeah. The retirement or village. Like a, yeah, like an apartment complex. Is retired yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, but, but but they'll they'll get it older, right? other people because they're older. Yeah. Right, fifty-five or older. Huh? They haven't had any any cases in the building, which is great. Oh, great! Yeah. I, what it, was I, the what was the age level? Fifty-five or older? I guess, but it's all it's yeah. they're all there's nobody there fifty-five. It's all a lot older people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be fifty-five next year. I could live there. My mom jokes and she says, "You can get an apartment here next year." You're <laughs> And you're thanks, you're, mom. You're next on the list too to get the COVID the, uh, vaccination, so it's okay, you know. Boy, you get so, good, yeah. so Mount Sinai said they'll notify us. Yeah, well, that's what they said in their thing that they that they, they will notify us when it's available to our group. I'll go to my chart. See yeah, what yeah. see what they say. Yeah, yeah. There's a little thing there about it, but anyway. So then you get the letter from SAG after that they were hacked two years ago. Good. What? I didn't know. I didn't get that. So we sent me a copy of it. Yeah, they okay. were hacked, and now we can get hey, a year of free um monitoring. Oh, really? A free monitoring. They got, you know, of supposedly, what? and not saying me personally. Sag after is our Sag after is our union. Uh, although, was your union was my union yeah every time they come up with something they care about the actors but they don't care about the broadcast side they really don't you know today but supposedly I, it happened two years ago they just got around to telling us oh really and 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 uh, how how yeah. is our information uh, so we're getting like two years of free one year of free monitoring, monitoring. i don't know what that proves <laughs> How about how about uh, how about free yes, health Alex care? Yes, Alex your information. Oh, great! Now oh, what do I do? Boy. Oh boy, you know, it, SAG used to be one of the best unions in the business. When? <laughs> when? Whenever, you know, when <laughs> when the movies were out that the the Shecky watches, you know. <laughs> well. By the way, I saw a strange movie yesterday that I, it, it, this Eddie Mueller has a show on TCM called uh, Noir Alley. And he deal, are you familiar with Mueller? You are, aren't you, Rick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and the movie he ran was a picture called Detour. Oh, that's a great one. Oh, that's, yeah. come on, that's famous, a famous movie. Almost... What did you say, Rick? It's a famous movie. It's a, it's a very famous movie. Well, it's supposedly famous because it's made like the National Film Registry. 
And it was no, like a textbook. It's, it's a textbook it's noir. Yeah. Yeah. And no. uh, it's a textbook noir. And this was a restored print uh, that was restored by the Lucas Family Trust. And it is part of the National Film Registry now. Uh, yeah, the bullshit registry. Is that the, why is it the bullshit registry? We talked about this last week, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, go look at this year's list. Oh, I, I, yeah, we were talking about the list. Yeah, right. Uh, but they're the only list. It's just to have a TV show on TCM. Yeah, yeah. Showing these movies. Well, anyway, I watched this movie last night, and it it is strangely there's something very good about it. <laughs> you know? oh, it's a very good film. No yeah. argument. I yeah. think it's a great one. Yeah, I love it. In fact, it was so good that Alfred Hitchcock did it, believe it or not, on Alfred Hitchcock Presents as one of his half hour stories. And he shortened it and did uh, what they considered a version of, of, uh, of that movie. Yeah. Which yeah. isn't that much longer than the movie, which is only an hour and seven minutes long. Yeah. Right. I think it's, is it Tom Neal? Was he the star of that? Tom Neal, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. An actor with a very, very depressing past. Well, he went to jail. Yeah. He well, murdered first he, someone. First he beat up Francho Tone, who was a big actor at the time. Yes, and that was he, after that. You know. No, that was before the murder. Was it? Yeah, and then he got, um, uh, he got, uh, he just got banned from Hollywood. Hollywood didn't want to have anything to do with him. So he then went out and got married, and then he killed his wife and got okay. six years in, in prison for manslaughter. And then when he got out, six months later, died of cancer. Oh, I, I mean, what a great life. Yeah. Yeah. So I watched a good one yesterday. I'm sure you've seen it. The Bill Murray, Rashida Jones film, Sofia Coppola. Is it good? It's very good. Oh really? We have to watch it then, Marjorie. What's the name? It's out of out of something or other. Yeah, I it, watched it. It was good. It, it was good. It was cute. Yeah. Okay, because uh, uh, it's on uh, Apple TV. You didn't want to watch it, Marjorie, because I don't. Well, like we don't it. agree on a lot of things. Well, no, it isn't a matter of agreeing or not agreeing. <laughs> it's, it's a matter true. of the fact that people here are telling you this is a good movie. Well, I mean, you I'll know, they got an hour and a half, two hours to kill. I mean, I wasn't yeah. like it's only waiting for it to come out, but I just well, I, I watched it. Still, it was I got cute. that every day. Yeah. Now, what I what really bothered me was how how badly can you can you fuck up Wonder Woman? Oh, hey, oh let me just tell you: Have you guys watched any old episodes? Just because of the resurgence, I was at my friend's house yeah. Christmas afternoon, and we were laughing about the movie being so bad. And then my friend was like, "Oh, we started watching episodes, and we watched the first. We were." dying That's how so bad funny. it was yeah it was so like bad. the first one but you know something again. they almost weren't as bad as this last movie <laughs> how can you go wrong with a wishing stone come on yeah. it's, it's unwatchable i mean i turned it off after 20 minutes well you know what's amazing yeah. we went back and afterwards watched and watched the first one and it was and so the good. first one is so good it's amazing yeah. i mean mm -hmm. it has everything going for it the action sequences are terrific, like her running through No Man's Land, uh, first using her powers in the real world, and, and, then, and then just yeah. just the whole premise of it, and 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 how man has really screwed things up, and so it's got a great subtext, it's got great writing. This film, what the hell happened? They just phoned it in. <laughs> well, you'll, have a, you'll have a third. You'll have a third one. Well, they have the same director, but the director but not decided, the same. "I'll I'll write this one." Oh. Get another one. And yeah. so, what you got was your standard second film of a uh, superhero series, in which you've got some kind of mousy person who suddenly gets powers, and some evil person who's aiding them. You know, and it's just it just becomes an average run of the mill uh, it's a comic picture. book. Yeah. It was terrible. There's it really no reason was. for these movies to be two hours and forty minutes long. I just think it's ridiculous. It was two thirty. Well, it's like the first thirty minutes could have been lopped off in a second. Right. That's All the stuff of her But the first and thirty the minutes is the only good part about the film. <laughs> yeah, but, but why was it in the film? And the last thirty minutes could have been lopped off. How about the and middle, the middle 30, thirty minutes? 
and then at the end, no, since everybody seems to have seen it, no spoiler message here. Um, uh, I guess that's supposed to be a preview of the next movie, which they've all, uh, already given the go-ahead for. Yeah. Uh, I'm right here. Everyone here has seen it. I don't think everyone's seen it to the end. Most of us stopped about 20 Oh, well, there, uh, you got to watch <laughs> the credits, and then all of a sudden there's a, there's a scene with Linda Carter. Yeah. Wonder Woman. Right at the end. Yeah, she had a cameo. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, good. But, but I think that has to do with the next film. Because yeah, which will probably be say in... 30 years in the, from that film. It will probably be in the 2010s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, along That's the same lines, I Patty saw Jenkins a flash. Star Wars movie. What'd you say? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Patty Jenkins is doing, she says she's got two more Wonder Woman stories. She's also doing a Star Wars movie now. Oh, really? No, she'll fuck that up too, I guess. Yeah. Rogue, Rogue yeah, no. Squadron, and directed by Patty Jenkins. Yeah, I mean, I. It, yeah. Is she the and, director, and, Alex? It, it, yeah. Will they have an a Will they have a Invisible Millennium Falcon? <laughs> <laughs> one can only hope. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and Steve. How about the other one? Did watch seven Wolf? years. Knows how to run, you know, run a jet somehow. Well, the the thing about, <laughs> about that I always disliked about Wonder Woman's invisible jet was that didn't anybody notice there's somebody just floating through the air? Yeah. <laughs> No, I think that, I think they become invisible too. Oh, I no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, no! No, they did. No. Not you too. Want to a, a nerdy really? comic book, nerdy comic book author wanted to upskirt uh, as she flew flew over. Uh, 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 Mandy <laughs> had her hand up. Yes, Mandy. No, in that first episode, we were watching when she's bringing Lyle Wagner back <laughs> from Paradise <laughs> Island. It's like showing him, and he's like laying in the middle of the air, and she's flying it. In the middle. Tell I mean, we just like, bust that laughing. Tell him who hilarious. played Wonder Woman's mother in that first episode. Cloris Leachman. Cloris Leachman. And yeah. she was good. Yeah. What? Yeah. In that, uh, did you see her Wonder season. Woman? Marjorie, she's Wonder right. Woman. She was terrible in Wonder Woman. She was, <laughs> I, I, you watch her and you go, and this woman became a famous actress. I mean, she I was, have to get started somewhere. She was acting yeah. so bad. I think she was probably me. already a famous actress when she played yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it worse. Yeah. 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 But it uh, seems that everybody watched the, uh, the HBO Max free drop. What about the Disney drop? Did anybody else watch Soul? No, I love it. We watched it. But you didn't cool. like it, did you, Shecky? So I loved it. it. I liked it. I liked I, it. Oh, I liked it. The lead, you know, the Jamie Foxx character was just a complete jackass. Self-absorbed. All he cared about was himself. I liked it. Was it free or did you have to pay for yeah, it? It's free. It's free. Well, free. I mean, none of these are free. You have yeah. to pay for HBO oh, to get oh. HBO Max. And yeah, I but originally they were going to have extra movies that you had to pay extra for. So they still have that. Yeah. They're only doing this for a month and then they charge on Disney Plus. Well, no, what happened is Disney tried that with Mulan, and I don't think it worked that well. Okay, where you paid extra you paid thirty dollars extra for Mulan. You know, which is ridiculous. I'm for Marjorie and I, we're not gonna spend that much money for Mulan. Now, maybe if you have a family of five and you want to sit around the TV set, I guess it's maybe worth 30 bucks to you. But if you sure. saw that movie, that ain't worth two cents, you know. It's cheaper um, than the movie house. But yeah. uh, I think they decided now that they just, they, they, they're going to make money off the fact that when they put a picture like Soul on and they bypass the theaters, that people are going to subscribe. Oh my God! Yes, look at look at the the rise in in the then Disney Plus this year. has 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 something like sixty five million subscribers now. Do they really? Yeah, and HBO Max, I'm sure, is somewhere up around eighty or nineties. I mean, it's it's getting pretty high, um, you know. And and uh, Netflix is keeping up with them, you know. But and raising their prices every month. Yes. Well, Disney yeah. raised their price, what, a, a dollar, right? Did they? Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, HBO, uh, Netflix a couple months ago raised mine $2. So I'm now up to $18 a month. That's more than I pay for HBO Max, which has more stuff on it. I got oh, HBO I, Max and I, canceled my Netflix. I, I did that this I, weekend I, when my friends really? got the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, know, I know folks that are switching every month. They get oh. one... <laughs> yeah, the month they switch to another one. And they get a free month. And they then binge they anyhow. 
No, it's not about a free month. But if you if you watch Netflix like crazy for the month, at the end of the month, you're done watching everything they have. Yeah. So go to something else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, uh, I, I would love to quit Netflix because I don't like the fact that they are charging what they're charging. And I, I, I get charged the 18 bucks because I had $2, had to spend $2 or more a month for the high death, the high 4K. Death, yeah. uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, so I, I have that. And uh, uh, I, I don't What's know. What's the I one with no commercials? Well, that's Hulu. You can buy Hulu. Hulu with no commercials. You can also buy CBS All Access for nine bucks a month if you want no commercials. But and same with NBC, whatever they call their peacock. yeah, NBC uh, Peacock. Uh, yeah, you can uh, bypass the commercials on that for uh, yeah, about nine bucks a month. I think is that is that is that tier. So um, you know, and I, I I I prefer to buy it without the commercials. And Hulu, I think, is worth it because there's, there is a lot of stuff on Hulu. Yeah, they just uh, the new season of Letter Kenny came on Hulu this weekend. The yeah, Kenny. so there's a lot of stuff on Hulu. I just uh, you know the only reason I keep Netflix is for Marjorie because she it's her binge watch place. <laughs> it's true. I do binge watch. I mean, she uses it more than I use it. Um, well, I have to admit, I you know I never got into Shit's Creek when it first came out, but, but it's like it's no. like it's like potato chips. It's yeah. like you can sit there and you can watch three or four of them, and a couple of days later you come back watch three or four more, and it's a good little laugh you're having, you know. Uh, yeah. Really, it's sweet. Uh, it's sweet. Huh? Yeah, I'm glad I missed it the first time around because now I'm really enjoying it, just binge watching. You get to see Chris Elliott play the same role he's played a hundred times, but with a new new name. With a new name, yeah. <laughs> Who is Chris Elliott? The, he's rolling the shits. He's the mayor. He's the mayor. Oh, the kid. The kid. Jo yeah. Jocelyn Shit's the husband. Kid. We Shecky knew him when he was a kid. Really? Letterman. He shared an office. He was on Letterman. You what? Chris and I shared an office when I first got there. Oh, really? Oh, okay. But Chris did not does not care for the show. I said you're really good this season. He goes, I don't watch it. <laughs> How is he as a, a normal guy when he's not playing doing his shtick? <laughs> I'm taking that as 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 kind of code for he's a prick. <laughs> no, he's not a prick. Now, I wouldn't call him a prick, mm -hmm. but he can be annoying. He's not that dissimilar from the character he plays. Yeah, then when he did, I think it was FDR, the HBO special, which I worked on. After I saw it, he comes to me and goes, so what'd you think about it? I said, eh, yeah, it was okay. And he just went off on me. <laughs> And we really? just every 20 minutes come back to me and go, so what was wrong with it? Why didn't you like it? What was, you know, I'm like, it was okay. It was okay, yeah. And then his producer partner, Kevin, came to me and goes, what did you say to Chris? <laughs> well, you know, most people don't know about Chris Elliott's lineage. Really? Uh, yeah, I mean, most people don't realize. You, you know his lineage, right, Steve? Bob and Ray. Bob, Bob and Ray, yeah. They, and then his daughter was on SNL. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. Abby. Abby. Abby Elliott. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay. All right. But, I mean, uh, you know, Bob and Ray were, I think, for me, as a broadcaster, they were broadcasting royalty. I mean, what years? It, what years? Oh, um, what years? 48 to... 60s. I think, I think Ray died in the early... Or the late 80s yeah, they were around yeah. and they used to do they used to do these funny bits on radio they used to have a radio show they would do these bits and uh uh you know uh the one uh the one i remember most they saying so you are the president of what <laughs> i am the president of the slow talkers <laughs> of america 
<laughs> and then they would keep going on. And the guy, uh, the, and what uh, I guess it was what, what Bob or Ray was interviewing the guy, and and he was trying to start filling in the words rather than wait for them to come. And it was one of the funniest bits I ever heard in my life. That's funny. And they were two really hellaciously funny comics, wouldn't you? Agree? And they did some television. Yeah. They did those Burton Ernie um, beer commercials. Yeah, yeah. So and, they, they worked. And uh, uh, Ray, uh, um, Bob Elliott, who was his father. Appeared Bob was to, on Get a Life. Get, on Get a Life with him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in fact, he's the father right. on the show. If you remember, do you remember the show? Chris Elliott did call Get a Life. Uh, unfortunately, Watch a son who never quite leaves home. <laughs> you know. How old is he's he? Like, he's like a cheap paper delivery boy. <laughs> he's he, in his 30s. Yeah. 30. Yeah. It was him. But it was a good series. Very funny series. I think Charlie Kaufman wrote a few episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Did, but that wasn't the show you told him was so so, was it? No, it was a special called FDR. Oh, okay. Where he played FDR. <laughs> it was, oh. it was no cabin boy. Oh, all right. Is he good? <laughs> so anyway, how are you all? Uh, how are you all spending the the truncated season here? I mean, uh, it, it can't be much fun for anybody. I mean, you coming over to our New Year's Eve party, Rick? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, good, good. Every year, Rick comes here for our New Year's Eve party. And we sit around and celebrate New Year's Eve. And so this year, why should it be an exception this year? <laughs> We're dropping the ball at midnight, but no one's allowed in the area. So it's only by television. Who's, whose balls are dropping? <laughs> yeah, my, my balls drop before midnight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine are going back oh, up Mandy, again. I'm glad right? you're here. <laughs> That's the one nice thing about living on the West Coast. We watch the ball drop at midnight. It's 9 o'clock. <laughs> so How are they going to keep all the streets clear? Not but but uh, they're right. still doing Dick Clark's Rock and New Year's Eve. But, oh, um, I still love it. They, they'll do it somehow, I guess. They'll probably just have people in various places. Like a Zoom. Yeah, and then they're going to have people up on that podium at 47th Street while they drop the ball drop the and ball. no one else in the and that's, yeah. it. Well, that's have, it. Well, they're going to have uh, Anderson Cooper there. And but they're going to drag it it's out. It's the two gay guys this Wednesday year. It's he and the guy like from uh, Andy you know, Cohn. Andy Cohn. And they'll have different singing at different places. Yeah. yeah. On tape. The yeah. little park and RV. <laughs> of course. Well, why, why, why do you even want to put them up on a platform in Times Square on New Year's Eve? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make any sense this year. So it looks festive. It's a sacrosanct tradition. It is. <laughs> and then the mayor will show up to push the little button, you know, or something stupid has like any, that. Has any real New Yorker ever wanted to go to Times Square and stand in there? tourists. It's tourists. And never kids been. Are, I never will. Work, uh, Shecky remembers this. I used to work at WMCA in New York. And at the, the, t the second time I worked for them, their studios were right uh, set on uh, 57th and between, well, uh, uh, Sixth Avenue, wasn't it? The, around there, yeah. And so it was right on the periphery of that. And I would always, they'd always have me working New Year's, okay? And I'd get out at like around midnight, but I would never venture down into that area. No. You know. Well, just, well, it, one, it, one year at Letterman, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to do the show at 5.30, Mm -hmm. But we were going to have Biff live at Times Square and cut it into the taped show. Mm -hmm. The only problem was the football game ran. <laughs> and when Dave was going to throw to Biff on tape, it was already 10 after midnight. No. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, we're dropping the ball right now uh, on our program. Andrew is dropping the ball. <laughs> Whose ball? Uh, that's there, my the, ball should, the ball should look like that this year, shouldn't it? <laughs> this is it this year. Ah, uh, there we go. We two that balls. Well, ball. now it looks like the Death Star. It's, <laughs> they couldn't afford the lights. <laughs> the president, president, let the, the the money to go away. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see. This week, Pence is in Colorado. 
skiing, yeah. munching Mexico, Mexico, doing whatever he does. Yeah. Trump is golfing. Right. Yeah. Thank so God. Tell, tell him the little fact I found out, though, about the first Wonder Woman movie. Guess who the the uh, the executive producer is of that film? Oh, Munchen. Yeah, Munchen. Yeah, Stephen Mnuchin oh. is the is the is, treasury. I saw these credits go by, and I go, couldn't be. And then I no, looked. But at, he came from Hollywood right. when he joined the Trump administration. That's right. And and he is the uh, brother-in-law of our eye doctor, and they <laughs> can't stand them. They're so far liberal that I mean, they just. What nothing to do with him. When he got married, they had to assure him that Trump wouldn't be there and they would have a table of their own. <laughs> True. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Mandy, what are you doing on, on New Year's Eve? Do you have any, any plans at all? Um, I do not. My friend did tell me this weekend that um, I could come over if I didn't have any plans, but I swear I feel like just staying home. <laughs> Yeah, I'm asleep at 10. 10, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Soon your state will be deciding our future. Well, Marjorie today did something, <laughs> did something. We should tell people, did something today that she hasn't done since March. Any guesses what that was? <laughs> I'm really hopeful for Paul. Alex. Since since March, Paul's Paul's drop. And that does March not have anything to do with having sex with me. <laughs> eliminate that immediately. But uh, she did something today. She hasn't done since March. Any guesses? March 11th. March 11th. Oh. You went and had a facial. You went and had your nails done. You went and got your hair cut. You're in the right territory. Um, Botox. Mandy would be the only one that would know. Yeah, well, she's <laughs> Al close. only because I told them. She's, she's close on it, Marjorie. Yeah. You went to... Get waxed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in all those directions. Yeah. Um, Today is went to the gynecologist. First time since March 11th that she put makeup on. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. And I took out my normal daily kit that I would put on in seven less than seven minutes, and I Aww. put all these tools and stuff out, and I had no idea what to do with it. <laughs> you know, lay them out. What goes first? Where do I put wait, this? Wait, 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 wait. She's, gonna go, she's okay, looking. Like, to get her makeup <laughs> case. I bet. You ran Mandy out. Uh, oh, I, I had I had a delivery. Someone knocked on my door. <laughs> <laughs> to give me a check. Yeah, but she hasn't put makeup. And and you know, um, I suddenly realized today. Uh, so I took a shower today. The first time I had her take in a week. In a week, but to show okay. you how little exercise I'm getting, I didn't stink yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I she, heard when you get old, your sense of smell is the second thing to go. You get, you, it's just <laughs> we, we've gotten to this point in our lives with this with this COVID thing. Nothing matters. If, if we don't go out, nothing matters. You know. I mean, how often do you change your clothes, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> what? Once a, week? Once a week? Once a week. Okay, there we go. And I shower and shave right before the show, your show. Is that e also e one? Every Monday. <laughs> oh, we should every feel Monday. really special. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's like, first of all, the first thing I said that we become is a nation that is a uh, 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 what do you call it when you extra cleanliness thing? Uh, 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 not passive aggressive. Uh, OCD. Huh? OCD. 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 We become yes. a nation about people who are OCD. Yes. You know, we put on the mask, wash our hands, all, do all those things. You know, exactly. Very OCD now. You even if shame Lynn into going to take a shower. Huh? You just shamed Lynn into going to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but do you get what I'm saying? It's it's amazing. It is just amazing. It uh, is and, amazing. And so we've become OCD, but we've we've also become um, uh, we've just kind of like I don't know, given up on day to day life. I mean, we did. The, the, there is the, no life. Yeah, you, know, you know. It's it's the same. Well, I just. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say it's the same day by day by day. Yeah. Saturday's yeah. the same what, as what Wednesday. Did you say, Mandy? 
I was just going to say, I feel like that's what kept me semi sane when during the, the lockdown, like from March to June, mm -hmm. when I was coming in here to the office, mm -hmm. I, even though I was only going to be in here with the owner who hardly ever came out of his office off his of zoom calls and one other dude, mm -hmm. I still got to put my makeup on, you know, yeah, put my work, regular work clothes on just to kind of feel like I was normal. Well, I, I usually go in once in a while to my office and I haven't worn makeup. The only thing I do that's different, I put jeans on and I go mm -hmm. in jeans. And so I'm not walking around in flannel nightgown <laughs> Your jammies. or workout pants. You know, it's, yeah. it's the only time when I go to the office yeah. and I don't I, go to the office too much. I yeah. get dressed every morning and commute to my front, the front of the house, just like <laughs> yes. I get but it's a brick I'm walking. I'm walking from the clothes. bedroom to the living room. Yeah. And I, I take a break for lunch and then yeah. come back. I, I treat it like a regular work day. We, you know, you, that's really what you should do. That's what you should do. Well, you, you kind of do, Marjorie. I mean, what you do is that where before you used to go to work and you took spread out all your work over eight hours. Now you simply concentrated into the two or three hours you actually worked. Yeah, when I go to you the know. office, I go in very early, like 7.38. I don't take a lunch. I don't do anything. And I leave like one or two in the afternoon. It's a full day. And that makes up for weeks of being in the office. Yeah. But, you know, we'd be, we, we've all become very OCD. And Oh, my God. We, you know, I have a visitor. Huh? I got my visitor. Oh, hey, puppy. Ah, uh, look oh. at that little boy. Yes. Yes. So cute. Yeah. That's Boris. Oh, Boris? Gee, Brian called today. Maybe we could see his daughter, but he's not here today. So. Yeah, uh, I got him, and we just holiday. we got it. We got a new dog too. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 what, 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 what program are you using to do that? <laughs> it's called OBS. There's you, white you, you bears use OBS in it to do so that? quick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I use it. I designed it for doing, being able to do presentations. So I can oh. drop down, put a PowerPoint up behind me, have a conversation. Yeah. Wow. Get back in the conversation. Yeah. Okay. Good. The oh. bear was in his dark material, wasn't it? No, that's just bear. Yeah, that was him. Oh, that's he was, he was the actor in the movie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm his agent. <laughs> <laughs> So, Steve, you're all the way downtown. It's funny. There are three of us here who are at New York City right now. Uh, well, four of us, actually. Count Marjorie. Um, so, who are uh, you counting otherwise? Well, Steve Bender is uh, down right. in, around Union Square, right, right, Steve? Yes. Yeah. And how's it down there? Is everybody wearing masks, being good? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just, there's nothing to do. So I've stopped going out now that it's cold. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I keep thinking about maybe going out and going to the store, doing something. I haven't been out of the house in about a week, I guess. Yeah. Because I, I just, I don't find any reason to. We had about 18 inches of snow. How about you, Shay? Really? You, you have a car and you haven't driven anywhere, have you? I haven't been more or less out of the house since the snowstorm two weeks ago. Oh, really? See? Each day, it's like, I'm going to go to Costco for senior hours. And it's like, I don't need anything. So why am I going to drive out there? Exactly. Uh, but you'll be happy to know. Here's something I found out. This is, this is strange. Now, what, one of the pills that I take is uh, a generic for Cialis called Tadafil. And the reason I take the Cialis for, is because it, it, it not for the not for the, should we say, boner aspect of it. What? What? Not because of the <laughs> of it, but Did because... Did you say something? Uh, huh? Yeah. Did you say something? Yeah. Anyway, uh, but because it, it, it softens the uh, prostate and then, you know, you don't have as much trouble uh, urinating and things like that. But it's a, it's a very expensive drug and most insurance companies will not cover it. So I called my urologist the other day and I said, you know, I, I really would love to keep up on this thing, but the new insurance we've got, you know, I have to get the, what was an exception pre approval or pre, pre approval or whatever. One of those. Uh, and he said, well, I'll tell you what you do. He says, when you're ready, just let me know and I'll call in a prescription for you to Costco. There you go. I said, what? 
He said, yeah. And then you go on to good RX and look at put in Tadafil and then they give you a coupon. He said, then you go in and you buy it. Costco. And I said, how much it's going to cost? And he said, I'm looking it up. $14.95 for three months. <laughs> I said, what? Because it's a drug that if you just buy it, it's like for one month, 800 bucks or something yeah. like that. And if I buy it at, at our pharmacy, which is a Walgreens community, it's called, it would be like 200 and some odd dollars, even with the RX thing. But at Costco, $14.95. Yeah, old guys take that stuff so they don't pee in their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you can pee in your shoes. It's an old buddy Hackett line. No, so you can pee in your shoes because it loosens up the prostate. To, but anyway, so, uh, you know, I, when I looked at that, I started looking at a few other drugs. And sure enough, Costco, they're like dirt cheap. And, you I, get, and they take the good RX and you can use those all the time. And it brings the price down on just about every drug you possibly. So if you, you go to Costco and your doctor is going to give you a prescription, you ought to check and see how much it would cost you to get it from Costco. Can Instacart deliver that? No, I don't think so. Because uh, so you have you to be there to pick up your prescription. You can't. Well, we're in COVID. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we And that, there's another thing where we've gotten lazy. Everything's delivered now. Oh, my God. All my food. Uh, all your yeah, food, prepared food, unprepared food, Costco, so Costco, Fresh Direct. How, how, what, are you, what are you doing about shopping, Mandy? I mean, um, I did order a lot of stuff online this year. I usually enjoy going like yeah. at the last minute and having that panic feeling of yeah. you know, that I'm hungry and I'm being like, food. oh, I gotta find something. But I thought I was being very good about ordering online but one of the main gift i got for my daughter who's coming from texas I hadn't seen her in a year these were gifts okay these were gifts yeah it was some from sephora which is a beauty store i know and it well i think they i think they tried i mean i think it was the postal service i still don't have it i had to end up going to a store in person and i had to go to one that was across town reserve it was a popular perfume this year had well to reserve it go get it pay for it again and then when i ever get the yeah. one in the mail i'll take it back but did you well, Trump cut the postal service yeah and they, and i mean but i was getting things some very of late sorting machines right before the election yeah. yeah yeah i don't know if you've heard i, I literally got that, one of the Trump gifts guys kind on of christmas eve yeah. How about, how about so far as as food is concerned do you still go to a supermarket to get food and whatever yeah yeah, because we have one we go to, but once a week or so. When you need a few stuff. little incidentals, but yeah. we actually shop at Costco and uh, through Instacart. It cost me 20 bucks to have it delivered. And Fairway. You know, in a tip. And Westside and Market. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, do they if always you, have if you want to get electronics, want? what? Do they always have the stuff you want or do they ever have to oh, substitute? Oh, no, sometimes they don't. The problem is I had a big argument with them the other day at Fairway. I said no substitutions. So I ordered Hebrew national salami. They sent me bologna. You got both, you got bologna. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered three things. So I called and complained. They gave me, you know, they gave me. And, a and don't tell, don't tell a Jew that a substitution for salami. <laughs> Hebrew for national, national salami is bologna. Yeah. So I gave it to our cleaning girl, and Alex took out the frankfurters. No, they were the frankfurters were fine. Yeah. <laughs> if you like pale green frankfurters, they're not pale green frankfurters. <laughs> they're just, they're just, they're, it's paler than the. They're the same. They're the with no casing, and they're the you know. They're, they're fine. They're going to be just. If I didn't, if you didn't know those were the hot dogs, you wouldn't know they were the hot dogs. You would. They pale would, green. They're not they pale break. green. <laughs> they're not talking about it like the Frankfurter. If, yeah, you eat it. At, at worst, they're flesh colored. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they're not bad. They're going to be good. I'm going to cook them and you're not going to know. Okay. Because it's just it's just the brand. You you like the boar's head. Yeah. yeah. I like and, the and this is, uh, this is another I'd company. Like 
I like the Hebrew National the but best. But these are our natural casing, just like the boar's head. So, you know. You know where the casings come from? Where? <laughs> the sheep's intestines. Oh. Are, are, they, are, are they still that, or is it something artificial now? That's what well, it they, is. Use the sausage. they use it for sausage. Really? And hot dogs. Yeah. Shecky, they still use this, the, the sheep's intestines? Yes. Sure. Oh, okay, good. I love sheep's intestines. <laughs> Charlie, uh, uh, what? How are you going to spend New Year's, Charlie? Me? I'm, I'm still watching my James Bond. I watched eleven <laughs> movies, and I still have fourteen to go. So. Wow! Dang. You know, on the on the Disney is Disney sent me a thing today. Watch the entire history of Star Wars, and it's got all the movies. It's got them all in chronological order. Then the movies, and now I got an answer finally for something, Rick. And then after the first three movies are a bunch of animated cartoons. Then there's the next three movies, uh, which would be The New Hope and so on, the which were essentially the first three ones. Okay, mm -hmm. these are all in chronological order. And then below that is The Mandalorian. So finally, I figured out where The Mandalorian fits into the whole Star Wars thing. Um, anybody here watch The Mandalorian? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Massive, it's, a guy, it's a guy thing. No, it's not a guy thing. Guy my wife tried in the uh, I think finale. It is. My wife tried really? in the finale. Too. What? Your wife what? My wife tried in the finale when when uh, when he touched his face. Yeah. He, my yeah. wife had tears. Did yeah. Tears. Yeah. Yeah. So I I guess maybe uh, the actor in that film won his his deal with the studio because he was complaining he wanted his face to be shown more. <laughs> And, and it seems like during the second half of the season, his face showed more often. They took off the armor. The helmet, yeah. And if you want to see him without the helmet all the time, just go watch Wonder Woman. Because he's a, yeah. he's a bad was that Was he the boyfriend? No. He, 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 what, in, in Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. No, he, the villain. Was, he was the villain. The guy who plays the Mandalorian. Pedro Pascal. The one who plays Maxwell Edge. Where, where was he in Wonder Lord. Woman? He was the bad guy. But pick a scene. I don't know what you're talking about. He's the bad guy. He's the guy. The guy who had the wishing stone. Ah, okay. Well, he became the wishing stone. Yes, 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 yes. He became the wishing yeah. stone. I remember. Yeah, and he plays the Mandalorian, but they never show his face, and he was getting tired of that, and he then said, "Show, let me show my face." Len, what are you doing for New Year's? Anything? Absolutely nothing, sir. I just, you know, we, there's nothing open. There's no place to go. And oh, you know, nothing to do. No people you know, to see. We're, we're going to get ourselves a really nice bottle of French champagne, I think, and drink it together. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a nice thing to do. Uh, Charlie, you said you're going to watch the Bond films. How far have you gotten in watching all the Bond films? Um, well, I'm through Moonraker, our first 11 ones. So. Oh, boy. Well, they start getting bad from here on in. Really? I don't know. Yeah, it's been surprisingly the, good. I, I, better than I remember. <laughs> yeah, because, well, well, okay, wait, wait till you get to a view to a kill. Uh, Daniel Craig picks it up. Yeah. 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 Timothy Dalton are the low years, I think. I think. Yeah. <laughs> but yet they were part, that was when they got back to trying to do basic Bond, however, you know, because I always, I hated Roger Moore. He was just foppish. Yeah. Yeah, you know, here I am. You know, yeah. different strokes for different folks. I thought. He'd what about that. Timothy Dalton? Yeah, uh, I was. What? Guess what was on yesterday on the Sci Fi Channel, or was it just Flash Gordon? <laughs> Remember that movie from nineteen eighty, and Timothy Dalton was in it. Yeah, right. right. The better one was Flash Gordon. That's Flash Gordon. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I must have watched Flash Gordon on cable like 17 times when I was like 14 years old when it came on. Really? I love that movie. It's so, but, and it's right up there with being really bad, but it was so good. Well, the reason, so I bad, didn't, so good. the reason I didn't like it is because I'm so enamored of the early Buster Crab serial of Flash mm -hmm. Gordon. Mm -hmm. That there was no other real Flash Gordon for me. They didn't really approximate it, you know? Yeah. Was he that was the television player. series, Flash Gordon? Yeah. No, it wasn't the movie. a movie. It was a serial. But they showed them on television as well. But they yeah. showed them on television. They were a staple of television. And the well, movie was, 
Well, for the main on. picture. Wait, wait a minute, the Shaggy. There was a television show in the sixth in the fifties. Yes, there was. Yeah, you're right. But it wasn't very good, if I remember it. It was. No, I think it was only one season in syndication. Yeah. But in the movie houses, it was the short movie, the short serial before serious. the main movie. Serious. And there were three runs of it, I think. There were three. There were three serials. Se three serials. Which and the, they, Flash Gordon. The first Flash time Gordon I ever Scripps saw them. Mars, yeah, the first time Flash I ever, Gordon conquers the universe. The first time I ever saw them, because they were released initially, when, in the 30s or early 40s? I can't remember. 30. 36, 38, yeah. and 41. So I was born in 39. So the first time I ever saw those Flash Gordon serials were not as a serial, but they had taken each of the 13 episodes and distilled them into and a one movie perverted. each. Yeah. And those were the ones that I originally saw. And then when I went back, I finally, I got to, when television came along, I finally saw the serials. When, when I was a child and we went to the Saturday matinee, the first thing before the main picture was a, was, was a serial. Uh, cliffhanger where he's running across the cliff and then the next week you saw an uh a step it, saved them well, you know? no but you know what the great cheat on those were but and, and I, what i always hated about them was the next week when you went back they just showed you something they didn't show you the last time right 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 you know they how you that, some step how and then made it easier for them to do it yeah yeah uh, but but we used to love the serials. There was a whole batch of them besides Flash Gordon. Heck, I used to go. We used to, we used to have a um, what a cartoon, a uh, news. Uh, you had news. No, no, mm -hmm. they didn't run a news reel during the kitty matinees. They did during mine when I was really? growing up. What, what do they want to do? Depress kids? What? You, <laughs> what you, went in, you went in at ten in the morning. And at four in the afternoon, you got out. No, 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 no. You, yeah, those weren't was kitty my, matinees. Those was were your mother's cheese. Those was weren't kitty food. matinees. Kitty matinees were specifically created for a kid audience, and they had a cartoon, a serial, and then a main feature. They had the news too. No. Often a short, like the Three Stooges would be in yeah, there yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, a comedy in short. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we had the whole thing. Well, then you they didn't and have they didn't have Kitty Matt. Quarter, those were not Kitty Matt and Abe. You went in at ten <laughs> in the morning. Were not, at four were in the not, afternoon, you went. Am I right, Jackie? Those were not Kitty Matinee She was going to. Whatever it was it was the only matinee in town. Mom I'm not the best day. She's stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Eight-year-olds love to watch Hitler marching through, you know, Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh, they had, they're only short. They were short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, if you look really close, they were carrying Trump flags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what a great babysitter for your mom. She had the yeah. free afternoon. You were there from so 10 all, to 4. Of, of all the big tragedies that have happened this year, and God knows we have had, this has just been a year of one tragedy after another uh going around the panel here what was to you the worst of the tragedies all well, my cruises being canceled okay there we go there we go no cruises for shecky i missed out on a couple of trips and just uh, the socialization and 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 getting laid off too i mean that was a big one as well oh that's big yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that that's a beginning of laid off was a big one. I mean, I mean, yeah. Marjorie, we were lucky because there was nobody in this family got laid off to begin with. I wasn't working. <laughs> Secondly, and I still am. And she still is. So you my, know. my thing for last year was was all the restaurants that closed. I mean, it's so sad in New York when New York is such a big tourist restaurant city. And one after another, they're all boarded up. It's so sad. Yeah. For me, it's uh, live music, which, you know, I retired in the summer from teaching, and I thought my retirement would be swimming at the Y in the morning and going, right. to, the, going to the Vanguard at night. And, you know. All right. Wow. No such luck. Nope. How about you, Mandy? What have you missed? I, I would say that I didn't. I was going to have a trip with Sydney in the middle of the year. She was going to have a... Um, project she went on in Maryland to dig she you know she's archaeology PhD student and she didn't get to do it we were going to go to Washington DC 
So that, and also I was single this year mm -hmm. and I started dating and that kind of went wah, wah. Well, that, that, yeah, put it into For that. now, just for now. Yeah. So it was just kind of, I just kind of deleted all my dating apps. I was like, yeah, <laughs> give it that for right now. <laughs> it'll, it'll start up again. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, and uh, but that uh, that's got to put a big crimp in your social calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, how about <laughs> you, Charlie? Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, is that what you? My biggest be? my biggest tragedy is that I, I missed my family reunion and we had to cancel last July. How mm -hmm. many people? Well, we usually have about seventy or eighty people. Wow. wow. <laughs> Well, so, yeah. Those black people do procreate. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we had one in, in 2018 and 2016. I, I got used to going every two years. And, yeah. And, and uh, missed yeah. That. You know, most of us are in our 70s and 80s. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> who Don't knows push how long it. we're going to be around. Yeah. How, about one, how about one good thing that happened to you this year? Wait, wait, let, let's finish with this, Mike. Oh, let me let me ask Mike what what, what with you. Yeah, no. Um, for me, uh, it was a weird year because this time last year, my wife and I were down with our kid and our grandkid at BC Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, she's an 18 month old, and she had a tumor the size of uh, my fist behind her tailbone. And we went down literally uh, a year ago yesterday. And we didn't come back till April. So COVID spread it out around us. But in that time, our granddaughter healed up and she was okay throughout all the COVID and everything. So for us, I'm going to go with Len go, there's my good thing. The, the tragedy, the biggest tragedy is I've had three friends of mine who have had to say goodbye to a parent oh dear. On, the, on the phone. Oh. And, and I, I don't know that I can think of anything uh, more tragic yeah. on a personal level that um oh so there, there, there you go but i want to flip back to len our granddaughter's okay that's how i'm soon my new year so uh so you know at the end of the day perspective right that's that's great let me see here i didn't ask andrew andrew biggest tragedy major project i was working on uh fell apart and i got trump they didn't pay me uh, <laughs> oh. that's what we call it in the business world when people don't pay their bills you get you trump, got trump. Yeah, did, That's is the there, second time. Anybody I missed with that question? Was was there anything good this year for you? Um, I got to think on that one. Well, November, I, I think November fourth. I'll tell you what it is for us, Mark. Number one, what? we have this big apartment that we haven't been paying rent on to live in for in nine years in the middle of this COVID. So you don't what? get whirly. All right. Yeah, twenty five hundred square feet. Yeah, and wow. and each other. You you have a lot of the friends of yours who don't have anybody and they would they're single alone they're single they're widowed they're divorced there's they're by themselves and i zoom with a, a, a couple groups of people a week and they're all lonely yeah so we have each other uh, 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 uh mandy uh, kind of has that problem you know of well, i was gonna say i actually since this was, I've been split up from my ex-husband and I was married, I was with him for 32 years. Wow. So very used to being with him. Right. Um, and we're friends, we're still friends, you know, um, but I've been apart from him since 19. But I think this year, especially without uh -huh. her, yeah. I found out like how strong I am. Like, I'm like, I'm a pretty darn strong person. I went through this quarantine by myself and, you know, just yeah. hung on and you did just good kind of girl. discovered some things about myself that good you know, for you. Good for you. That's gonna make you feel good. How about you, Lem? What's been a good thing for you this year? <laughs> well, November fourth was a really good day. Um. <laughs> <laughs> more like December fourth. Okay. All right. All right. Um, enough, enough said. You, you know, don't have to say more than that. I, I think that might that might be. I mean, obviously, you know, having my wife here, and, you know, two of us being together. You know, it's been almost ten years now. We've. Uh, We've been together and we went to high school together a long time ago and it's nice to to have her here and and to uh you know to have somebody to share this with because it gets really lonely how about you charlie well the what good about, part was something good yeah um, hard to think about <laughs> james bond 
How about you, Andrew? I did get a new car this year. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's major. I got, I got a great deal on that because nobody was buying cars. <laughs> <laughs> How about or you? Or anything How about else. You, Andrew? I don't know. I've been making leasing payments on a car I haven't driven in months. Me um, too. <laughs> yeah, I think probably the biggest, the best this year was getting my uh, my podcast off the ground. Okay. How about Sorry. you? How about you, Steve? You know, just having my wife here, and I'm glad that my daughter only lives, you know, like 15 blocks uptown, so yeah. we do get to see each other. Oh, that's good. How about you, Shaggy? What's the best thing that happened to you this year? I guess having a chance to revisit movies that I haven't watched in 30 years. Hmm. Oh, that's very nice. And uh, did I ask you, Mike, what the best thing You did. Was? Well, I, yeah. I did I did the combo thing. So yeah. my granddaughter being OK, that's yeah. good by that, far. That, 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 that's good. Yeah. By far. And, and the other thing I, I didn't I ask me. think about was oh. about, <laughs> the wife all, always. Well, yeah. well Last this is the line, year. This is the year. Always. Here, this is the year that I, that I, we say, I hopefully beat uh, prostate cancer. Yes, you did. And, right. and and it happened. I had the operation a week a month. before they closed things down. If, wow. been one, if I we waited one more week, I'd yeah. still be waiting to get my prostate to cancer. Yeah, that's right. So, you yeah. know, and my urologist says it seems all clear. It looks good. So, you know, we'll you leave. didn't ask me. Uh, oh, yeah. What's the best thing that happened to you this year? I didn't <laughs> fart last night. <laughs> I can still wear my pajamas all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. how about me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm hey, pants, listen, am I, and, and, and the, be yeah, the best thing that's happened to me uh, this year is all of you people. Because, and I'm saying that in the, because I do mean it. These Monday shows have just been phenomenal. They, they, they're my favorite part of the week. And so you're obviously my favorite people of the week, too. Aww. Anyway, thank you to Mike and thank you to Shecky and uh, thank you, Charlie, and thank you, Andrew, and thank you, Steve, and thank you, Lynn, and thank you, Marjorie, and Mandy. Good to see you again. Hope we see more of you in the next yes, year, too. Yes, I'll try to be back on. I'll, the one tragedy of this year is I didn't buy stock in Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I think that's where we all, even Shecky made that mistake. Anyway. Yep. Uh, that's it. Hey, thank you that's so it, much. Guys. I really Thanks appreciate well. it. Goodbye, everybody. Have a, have, a, have a happy, 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 happy. <laughs> happy New Year. Okay. Happy New Year. Yes. Hope your balls don't drop. <laughs> 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 <laughs>